New this morning, we are halfway through our Hidden History series covering local African Americans and sharing their impacts on the Ozarks. Color 10's Nigel McDonald joins us this morning to share more on Ada Fulbright and what she means to the Ozarks. Nigel. Well, good morning, Lauren and Joe. Ada Fulbright dedicated her life to teaching Springfield students during some of the most challenging times for the local community and even the nation. The daughter of a former slave. She was a, a product of Springfield Public Schools. Ada Fulbright spent four decades teaching Springfield students. They were, of course, uh, segregated at that time. Dixon says Fulbright lived during some of the toughest times for the Springfield community. You know, you had to be a professional. You had to do all the things that professionals have to do to this day. But you did so also in a larger community environment that was segregated, that was whites and blacks and colored and, and, and white and that kind of thing. However, Dixon says Fulbright never let the time stop her from forging a legacy for those who would come after her. Leaving her mark on children to this day, uh, like uh, Councilman Denny Wayne or uh, Bishop David Knox uh, or, or others in the community. A legacy Dixon says is finally being honored. For the first time ever, a Springfield Public Schools building will be named after a local African American leader. This is a local person who basically gave her entire life to educating children in this community. For kids to be able to, to get a little piece of knowing who she is. And Dixon says it's important for students to see people in leadership roles who look like them. MLK was a pastor. Ada Fulbright was a, a school teacher. These aren't uh, professions like, uh, you know, something out there that I can't reach or aspire to. He says it makes it easier for a child to look at these leaders and envision themselves creating the same kinds of legacies. Well, the Ada Fulbright Early Childhood Center is expected to open this fall, and the center will serve around 250 students.